So let's do a little warm up and focus a little bit on the hips since we're going to be using them later. So go ahead and put your feet hip width apart, sitting bones down, hips open, shoulders back and down, crown to the ceiling, stretch your spine apart, breathe as deeply as you can, and exhale any tension. Just focus inward and remember your yoga perspective, just noticing what your body needs you to do next. Inhale, arms at shoulder level, keep the shoulders down. Exhale, hands to your heart, elbows back. Stretch way out to the front, shoulders still down. And then bring your hands behind and clasp the fingers, lift your heart, stretch your whole spine as you go into a back bend. Spread your toes, exhale, pivot at your hips, come on over. And as you get into your forward position as deeply as feels right today, Bring your hands toward your head <clears throat> and breathe. Lift your sitting bones, get a little stretch on your legs, and then bend your knees, keep your chin in, start at the bottom of the spine, and just wind your way all the way up, see if you can feel all those bones moving. And then stretch again, heart high, and head slightly back, shoulders down, and a nice little back bend. Just take a few moments breathing, lengthening, and then inhale up, release your arms, and take a moment focusing inward, and notice how you're responding to that warm up. And again, arms at shoulder level, hands to your heart, stretch to the front, exhale behind you, clasping the hands the opposite way, getting those fingers interlaced the other direction. And again, stretch your spine and pivot over. And hands up, head down, and legs as straight as you'd like for that back of your leg stretch. Move your head around, relax your neck a little bit more. And then again, wind your way back into the back bend. And heart up, shoulders down, stretch your head away, and just feel your spine opening. Inhale to the top, release your arms, and take a moment just focusing on the circulation. We'll do our side stretch. So bringing your arms out, shoulder level, turn the palms up, bring your hands right above your shoulders. Pass and clasp. Bring your arms next to your ears and stretch straight. No twisting on this one, just lean over to one side. Push the foot you're leaning away from down and get those ribs stretching apart. Shoulders still towards your waist. And then inhaling, come upright and switch your hand, other one in front. And again, arms next to your ears, everything straight. And exhale to the opposite side. Get that lengthening through your ribs, push the foot down, reach out through your head and your hands. Make sure you don't lean forward. And inhale back up, exhale and release. Take a moment, feeling those sides a little bit more stretched apart. And we'll do our twist, so stretch apart your spine. Arms at shoulder level, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders, clasp your elbows. Stretch long and exhale to one side. Another breath in and exhale in the twist coming over. So see if you can keep your weight on both feet evenly. <clears throat> keep your arms next to your ears as much as you can. And just deepen as far as you want. And then stay in your twist. Inhale your way back up and lift your heart looking toward the ceiling as you pull your shoulders toward your waist and your elbows away. So lengthen through the whole spine in the back bend, but be very careful with your low back. And then inhale to the top, exhale around to the center and switch your arms, spread your toes, stretch your spine, and exhale to the opposite side. And again, in the twist, lengthen and exhale again, coming over. Take a moment there, kind of lift your sitting bones, keep your arms by your ears, stay in your twist. And with the weight even on both feet, still lift your body and 
heart toward the ceiling, look overhead, pull those elbows back, and the shoulders down. And then on an inhalation, come back up, exhale around to the center, bring your arms up into extended mountain, lengthen through the whole spine, so sitting bones one way, crown the other, and then swan dive forward, chest and chin lead, tuck that chin back in a little bit, stretch the back of your neck along with your spine, <clears throat> and then drop into ragdoll. Just hang. <clears throat> Sorry. Lift your sitting bones, tuck in your chin, pull in a little deeper if you want, lay your hands behind your legs, get a really good stretch on the back, and then slowly work your way up one more time, shoulders up, back and down, and back in the mountain pose. Turn your feet out just a little bit. We'll do our pelvic tilt warm up just to get that hip area a little bit working. So knees towards your toes, shoulders right above your knees and toes, and then stretch your spine long, and then pull your ribs back, exhale and look down toward the floor, get a stretch, lengthening through that C shape of your spine. And then inhale and go into the back bend, chest forward, sitting bones, hips back, and expand through your heart. So remember, not a lot of pressure on your hands, just keeping the shoulders, knees, and hips lined up. Exhale, land into the forward bend. Inhale, expand the lungs as you go into the back bend. So really moving through this hip and sitting bone area. Then letting the heart and shoulders get a little range of motion as well. Don't forget to breathe, filling that lung capacity. Exhaling all those toxins. And then just feeling what's going on in your body, just noticing the circulation, where things are moving, where things are feeling tight today, just relax them. And then the next time you're in the forward position, just pause and come on back up and into mountain pose. Hands to your heart, shoulders down, look at your hands, bring them toward the ceiling. Keep looking at your thumbs and do a nice back bend as much or as little as you'd like. Exhale, follow your hands to your heart, all the way over. Hands up on your shins, halfway up stretch with the ankles, or the <coughs> knees, knees, hands, elbows, back, everything straight. And then bending your knees, come all the way to the floor, and we'll transition down into child's pose. So hips on your heels, exhale forward, and just relax your shoulders down. Take a few breaths, step and stretch, especially through that lower back area. And then inhaling, sit up, and slide off into step position. So press out through your heels, pull the toes back, let the backs of your legs sink down toward the floor. Sitting bones a little behind you, remember, so that you've got that good support. And spine stacked just like in mountain pose with the ribs back and up and the shoulders back and down. Round to the ceiling, just give yourself a good stretch apart. Don't forget to breathe. And we'll warm up the hips a little bit more because we're going to be using those hip flexors today. So bring your foot up to the thigh and let that leg come down, knee down toward the floor. So if this is tight today, bring your leg over to the side. Keep the knee and toes still up on that leg. And then let it open a little bit more easily. Or put some padding behind you, raising the sitting bones just slightly. So go ahead and relax. You can hold your hand on your leg, but remember, don't push. We don't want to stress and strain. We want to relax and let things stretch open a little bit easier. And then bring your foot up and knee into your hands or wrap your arms around and pull the leg in closer. You'll feel the rotator outside of your hip. Just move it back and forth. Get that lubrication warming up a little bit. 
Remember, spine still straight, core still active, stretch up through the top of your head, and just move back and forth as much or as little as you like. As it gets easier, if you want more intensity, you can go higher or closer with the leg. You don't need to if you don't want to. So personal practice, choose what's right for you. And then release that leg and feel the difference because remember that's your yoga practice is noticing what's going on internally for you. So again, sitting bones are back, feet are pressing out, body is nice and upright, core supporting your spine and bring that other foot up because we need to balance the body. And again, just stay there or bring this leg over, keeping the knee and toes up if you need a little easier work on that hip joint. Don't forget to breathe and relax. Again, you can have your hands on the leg, but don't push. Just let it have a little extra weight pulling that knee toward the floor. Stretch your spine. Don't forget to breathe. Just let things relax and release. And when you're ready for that hip rotator warming up, bring your leg up, wrap it around, pull it in, or do what's right for you as you move back and forth. You can keep it low, you can bring it higher. It's always personal practice. Raise the foot a little more, pull the leg in closer if you're feeling like you want a little bit more intensity. But don't do it, of course, if it's not right for your body because personal practice, we wanna do what's right for you. And again, as you release that, notice how those hips are working and a little bit warmer, hopefully. And then we're gonna get a little stretch on the front of the thighs on those hip flexors. So come on up to a kneeling position. If your knees need a little extra cushioning, remember you can push or fold your mat and bring cushion underneath your knees if you need it. We're gonna come all the way up onto the knees so that your hips are right above your knees. And we're gonna support the lower back with your hands. So heel of your palm, on the lower ribs, fingertips down toward your waist, toward your hips, and then pull your elbows toward each other, look up, lifting your heart, and come into a little supported camel. So just feel this front of your thigh area stretch a little bit more as you do that. Push your head back and lift your heart. So still, hips above your knees, and just keep lifting your heart toward the ceiling as you look up. Shoulder blades toward your waist. Don't push those shoulders out away from you, but pull them toward your waist. And then as you exhale, chin toward your chest and come on all the way over into child's pose, just releasing those front of your hip, hip flexors. Take a moment and breathe. And then inhale and face forward and come on up and we'll do another version. So you can stay in the supported version, always a good choice for a nice supported gentle camel with a little stretch through the front. But if you want a little bit more hip flexor stretching, we're gonna reach one hand back towards your heel. If the heel with the feet flat is a little bit further down than you wanna reach for, tuck your toes under and bring that heel up and just give yourself just a medium stretch. So your personal choice. And again, bring the hand back to your back and do the other one. So again, foot flat if you can reach it or tuck the toes, bring the heel up, make it a little bit easier. So stay supported, go for the heel one way or the other, always your choice. And then again, chin towards your chest coming up, releasing those hands. And coming all the way over again into child's pose. Take a breath. Exhale any tension. Feel that release through those hip flexors on the front of your thighs. And again, inhale one more time. And you can go with the supported version. You can go with the one hand at a time version. Or you can go with both hands going back towards your heels, either flat or tucked. The more you go into the full version, the more stretch you'll have on those hip flexors, 
So keep pushing forward with the hips, making sure that they stay as much over your knees as you can. No, over, yeah, okay, that's right. <laughs> and then bring your hands back to your back. Exhale again, and release into child's pose. Take a moment, just breathing. And then inhale and come on up. And we're going to go into our pigeon. So come onto your hands and knees in table position, knees under your hips, wrists, elbows, and shoulders lined up, spread those fingers apart. Get the core active, supporting your spine. So ribs up toward that lower back, chest a little bit toward your thumbs. Don't hunch up that upper back. And lengthen the sitting bones and crown away from each other as you come into table. So this is our starting position. We're going to take the right knee between the thumbs, slide the left leg back so you feel that hip flexor that we were just stretching, stretch again. And then take your right knee over toward the side of the mat. And you can pull the heel up so that it comes across from the knee or still back toward your hip a little bit, depending on where your hip flexor wants to go. Because we're working the hip flexor on the right leg, and no, the hip flexor on the left leg and the hip rotator on the right leg. So again, you can go as far as chin perpendicular to your body, or you can have that heel in closer toward your hip. Now, focus on the hip bones and get them even. So if you find that you're sliding off to the side one way or the other way, see if you can even that up because we wanna make sure that those hips are dropping toward the floor evenly. Now, if this is intense, you can just go down on your forearms. It's a little bit easier for both the hips or if you like it and you want a little bit more, you can go into a more of a back bend by raising your heart and looking up toward the ceiling and dropping those shoulder blades and coming into a little bit more of a back bend, which is going to intensify those hip work things a little bit more. So do what's right for you. Sink the hips evenly toward the floor. Just feel the release and relaxing as you breathe and let things go, whether you're in the intense position or the easier position, always a choice. So find your position and just take a moment breathing and relaxing there, letting those hips sink evenly toward the floor. You can be in the middle position, you can be in the back bend position, or you can be in the forearms to the floor position. Any of those three is a great pigeon. And then we're going to Bring the hands back onto the floor. If you're on your forearms, we're going to come back to head upright if you were in the back bend. And then slide your knee back and the other knee up, back into table position. But go ahead and sink into the extended child's pose, wisdom pose, bringing your forehead down toward the floor, letting those hips have a little bit of a release. And then inhaling, come on back up into table because, yeah, we got to balance the body. So find your position, making that lower back nice and supported. Stretch your spine apart and bring the left knee forward between your thumbs. Slide the right leg back. Feel that hip flexor stretch. Let this hip rotator dictate how far you go. Bring the knee, left knee, over toward the side. Feel that hip rotator start working more. Bring the heel up, feel it even more as you sink those hips straight down toward the floor. Again, you can stay in this middle version the whole time if you love it. You can intensify and go into the back bend, lifting your heart and looking overhead more if you love that. Or if you're going, oh, this is a little bit too much for today, you can go ahead and slide those hands forward, elbows down right under your shoulders, and just allow your hips to sink in a more relaxed version. So hips going evenly down toward the floor. 
in whichever version you're in. And again, just maximize or minimize personal practice, just doing what's right for you and your body. Heart forward in whatever position you're in. Shoulder blades always toward your face. And we're going to this time slide off to the side, bring that back leg around and into a cross leg position. And then we're going to stretch forward and into staff position. Sitting bones a little behind you. Keep breathing and allow yourself to, again, align and intensify that core work. So take a moment, breathe, exhale tension, and just allow yourself to feel those hips a little bit more energized and activated. And we're gonna work our hips again, as well as our spine doing our dolphin. So we're gonna dive our dolphin, sitting bones behind you, bring the right foot up to the inner left thigh and the knee out toward the side. And then we're gonna bend the left knee and bring the heel of the left leg back toward the left hip or as far as it wants to go for you. So this hip may be up a little bit, that's okay. You can put a pad in there if that makes you feel more comfortable. We're gonna stretch the spine apart because we're gonna twist and then exhale and turn toward your right knee, that first knee we bent. Hands on your leg or the floor, ribs back as you exhale, dive under the water, you're the dolphin. And then rotate your face forward, inhale, and lift your heart toward the ceiling as you come up. So just allow your dolphin to have a little gentle exhalation as you dive under, and inhalation, lifting the heart as you come up. Or you can intensify it a little bit more, diving deeper toward the mat, lifting higher toward the ceiling, Keep those shoulder blades going toward your waist and let your spine do the work so the hands aren't really supporting you. They're just positioning so that you stay aligned with that leg. Keep breathing, inhaling fully on the way up, looking overhead so you're letting that neck get a good stretch as well as you tuck the chin, exhaling down, inhaling up in the back bend, exhaling forward, in a nice rounded forward bend. And just dive your dolphin as freely and playfully as your dolphin wants to do today, imagining them playing in the waves. And then the next time you're forward, just take a moment to lengthen and inhale up. And as you exhale, turn back to the center and release your legs and come back again into staff position. Feel your spine, your hips, your legs, everything working a little bit more. And of course, we're gonna balance the body and we're gonna dive our dolphin the other way because they're done floating that one direction and they wanna go the other way. So again, sitting bones behind you, bring the left foot to your inner right thigh, knee coming out to the side. Just adjust on those sitting bones as much as you need to. And then bending that right leg again, bring the heel back near your hip as much or as little as it wants to go. You can be up with this hip if that's what your hip needs to do. Or you can be sinking down as much as it wants to. Lengthen through your spine, get that core supporting your back. Shoulders stay down, exhale, turn to your twist to that left knee, first knee you bent. And again, we're gonna dive the dolphin going that opposite way. So remember, ribs coming back, contracting your lungs, exhaling and diving down towards your knee. Bring your face forward, letting your lungs expand, heart lift, looking up as you inhale to the sun and the sky. And be your playful dolphin as freely as you'd like. Dive just gently if you're a little baby dolphin just wanting a little bit of practice. Or if you're a really experienced dolphin and you want more intensity and a deeper dive, you can ram forward and bring your forehead closer toward the mat as you come to the front. 
And make sure you're really lengthening and inhaling as you bring that heart up toward the ceiling as you come up, if that's what's right for you. So always personal practice, just feel those hips, feel the spine, feel the lungs and the heart as it goes through that whole range of motion. Be your dolphin. Imagine all those other little dolphins playing with you as you go through the surf, diving under, inhaling as you come up, and just relaxing through your range of motion. And again, the next time you're at the top, pause a moment and exhale, turning back to the center. Release your legs and come back into staff position. And just take a moment feeling your body, how it's responding for you today. Shoulders back and down, crown reaching to the ceiling. Let's bring the bottoms of the feet together into a little butterfly position. Clasp under your toes, pull the heels in. Just let those knees come toward the floor as much as your hips are wanting to do today. Lots of hip work. Chest forward and up, look toward the ceiling, pull those shoulder blades down, get a nice little back bend. And bring your hands behind you, right under your shoulders, fingertips or palms down, whatever's right for your arms. Just a little gentle pressure into those hands as you again lift the heart maybe a little higher. Let those knees maybe come a little further down toward the mat. So do what's right for your body. Breathe, lift that heart nice and high. Feel your lungs. As you exhale, bring your chin toward your chest and your hands toward your feet. Slide those feet out a little bit. Hands underneath, tops of your feet with the palms on them. Pull those knees down and stretch your spine long, chin toward your feet, and stretch and relax. Shoulders still toward your waist. And then releasing your hands, sitting up, lift your knees, stretch your legs back out into staff position, and at the end of the mat. And of course, we're going to activate the core to roll onto our back and onto a little reclined integration course position, getting ready for a final brief twist and then our final relaxation. So sitting bones toward your heels, bring your arms out to T position, palms up or down, we're just going to do our bent knee twist today. So again, sitting bones toward your heels, bending your knees back down and bring your heels up near your hips. Take a moment to press the back down, lift your knees right above your hips, feet off the floor, palms up or down, depending on how you want to stabilize your shoulders and bring the shoulder blades down, shoulders to the floor. We're going to roll the knees over right at hip level and turn your head toward the opposite side getting your whole body into the twist. So the more your knees come down, lower back twist. If you love it, you can bring your knees further up toward your elbow for a little bit more there. Head turning, neck twist, so don't go too far if you've got neck issues. And just let those shoulders stay down, nice middle back twist. And just take a few moments there, breathing and relaxing, letting those knees come toward the floor. And then heels back toward your hips, rolling onto your back. You can bring your feet to the floor and straighten out if you need to. And we're going to twist to the other side. So hands, palms up or down, it's always your choice. And again, shoulders down as you bring your knees over toward that opposite side. They can stay at hip level or move up toward your elbow for a little more work in your spine. Turn your head toward that arm behind you, neck area moving into the twist and just keeping those shoulders down for your middle back twist. So do what's right for your body on the side and just relax. Deep breaths, exhale tension, and just release and relax into your twist. And when you're ready to release that, again, heels toward your hips, roll onto your back bring your feet to the mat and slide them out. Hands near your hips in corpse position, palms up, 
And just let your body sink into that surface beneath you, getting ready for our final relaxation. Take a breath, exhale. Just let your body soften and sink deep into that surface beneath you. Now, as you breathe more deeply, just kind of focus there in that hip pelvis area and let any tension that's crept in there release. Lots of work in that area today. Just relax your legs through the fronts of your thighs, through the sides of your hips. Palms up, letting those shoulders sink, letting your whole torso open, heart expanding, lungs fully inflating and deflating. And just focus on softening your jaw and your face, letting your whole body relax, deepening into that earth connection. And as your body sinks deep into that earth embrace, let it go. And as your mind releases your body, just know that other thoughts will come to you. Let them go as well. There's no need to remember the past, no need to anticipate the future. Just go ahead and let those thoughts drift away without attention, releasing thoughts of your body and thoughts of your mind, just allowing your awareness to float freely, deepening attention into that inner peace. And let the peace fill your body, fill your mind. And just take a few moments breathing, being peace. And if you have time to relax even longer today, just relax as long as you have the time and inclination. It's time to begin activating for the rest of your day. Just begin drawing energy and awareness with your breath back to the moment, to the room, to your body. Just begin breathing more deeply and stretching your body gently as you become ready to do so. And when you're ready for your final yoga heart of appreciation, Sitting bones toward your heels, bending your knees, draw your heels toward your hips and your knees toward your heart. Wrap your arms around however feels good for you today. Give yourself that appreciative yoga hug. Let your body know you appreciate its yoga work today. The body work your body does every day for you. And when you're ready to release, head and feet to the floor, rolling to the side and sitting back up getting ready for whatever's ahead in your day today. Thanks for joining me. Happy New Year.